Hey everyone, I'm Mindy from Cute Girls Hairstyles, and today we are going to show you how to do Elsa's coronation hair. Now this hairstyle is really cool, and as soon as I saw it in the movie, I knew it was like one that we had to do. It's really amazing, and I'm sure you're going to love it. Okay, now when doing this hairstyle, it's important to remember that you're dealing with a drawing in a cartoon, which doesn't always translate exactly to real human hair. So we're going to do just a slightly modified version that's going to make it easier for me to style. So to begin with, I'm going to come up here, to it way back for me, and maybe like towards the middle to end of her eyebrow, I'm going to do a nice little part line. I don't want to do it too high because I don't want it to really show from the front a ton, but in the movie, of course, Elsa's hair is all combed over to the left, but the reality of it is that the gravity starts pulling it down and it just kind of looks scraggly by the time you're done doing all the hairstyle, so this is much better. So after you have your nice part line right here on this side, I'm going to turn her to the front. And I am going to, starting on that part line, thank you, and about three inches back on her head, I'm going to just begin sectioning. And I'm going to take that section and swoop it kind of on a downward rounded angle towards the back of her head and right down to about the middle of her head where the bun will sit. So we have this nice little section of hair right here that we're not going to use for it. So I'm going to take that and I'm actually going to secure this side out of the way. We get so this is a little tricky method. So now what we need to do is get all of this to flow to the left and look really nice and soft and pretty. Now in order to do that, the top part will stay kind of naturally on its own, as you can see. The problem is this back area. If you comb it like this, it just naturally wants to fall down. So we're gonna take our comb, a little bit more for me, thanks. And we are going to pick up small sections and add a little bit of teasing. Now if you don't wanna do this, you don't have to. You can also wet the hair down. That will give it a little extra weight and help hold it too. But for her hair, I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of teasing. Okay, now we're going to flip it back over and take our smoothing comb and just smooth the top pieces so it doesn't look like ragged, so it looks really nice and soft. Okay, now one other trick I'm just going to show you is that when you're doing this, we have this part line right here where we parted it earlier. You just want to make sure that this hair is brought as close to that part line as possible. So we're going to use that to hide it. Once you have this kind of where you want it, go ahead and secure it with an elastic. Once you have your ponytail in place where you want it, then we're going to take the blue ribbon that she wore in her hair, and I'm going to thread it to get through the elastic. And mine's extra long right now, we'll just cut off what we don't need when we're ready. And we're going to take this and I'm going to twist the hair. Then I'm going to take this string and twist it around the hair. And now we're going to go ahead and twist this up. And make sure that we need it. And I'm going to pin as I go. So I'm going to use a variety of either bobby pins or hair pins. And I'm going to just take them and start pinning them down as I twist this because I want it to lay pretty flat on her head. And in order to do that, you have to kind of twist as you go or else you end up with part of the bun sticking up. I'm going to pin this down. So now we're just going to snip off the ends of the ribbon and those will be hidden in a minute. Okay, now we're going to go to the front and pick up a section right here in the front and begin twisting. And we're going to twist it and then just really gradually add in hair so it doesn't look like a really segmented twist. We don't want it to be like a, an obvious place where different pieces of hair are wrapping in. And the goal is to keep it right along the back of the hairline so that we're covering up that part line we created initially. And it looks like it, the, the ponytail part, just the bun part, just wraps right into this hair section. So we're going to continue to twist and continue to twist until we've added all that hair in. And then we're going to continue to twist.
And now we're going to take this hair and wrap it right up underneath the bottom of this bun to create another section of hair to the bun. And you'll know in the movie, like I went back and watched it several times, that it doesn't seem to be visible ribbon in the outside twist of her bun. So this is what we've done to create that effect. We're just going to twist, continue to pin. Again, using hair pins or bobby pins. And we can put those bobby pins in a Continue to twist. Put the bobby pin right here. Hold the bobbies. And try to make it look even wider and thicker than before. And when you get to the end, just tuck them up underneath. Go ahead and secure them with bodies. One time more. Get those little indies right there. And we have our bun. And then you can go back and just gently pull on this to loosen it a little bit. And you see how we create the effect that that just falls right into that twist. When in reality, it does not. And then, of course, you can twist up a little. Like Elsa was wearing it. Nice and full. And you're good to go. Okay, guys. Here's the final Elsa's coronation hairstyle. So we have the lovely twist in the bun. Ta-da! It's so cute. Now, don't forget that we have a hidden Mickey in video, so be sure to leave a comment if you find it, but don't say where you found it. And we hope you guys have enjoyed, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye, guys.